So, we are focused on memoir. So, um, I want you to take what you read from Glass Castle, and I do have a couple of excerpts um, posted um, for you to be able to go through and have more practice with recognizing uh, the importance of dialogue and the importance of when you're writing a memoir, um, you know, your personal thoughts, feelings, reflections, how, you know, how you, you know, what was going on inside of you, you coming from that experience, not just telling the experience um, from what you remember, but actually making it more like um, a story and, um, so, um, uh, a memoir is a more, um, think of it as a more flavorful form of, um, a, um, um, um of a narrative. Okay. So, uh, and I want to go over also the difference between, uh, a memoir and an autobiography. You're not writing an autobiography. Like, um, um, uh, so, you know, if you're watching as time goes by, then Lionel's memoir, My Life in Kenya, does not depict a whole life like a memoir does. His whole life. Just a portion of it. Just a portion of it. So, um, that is really, um, um, the difference between the two. Think of, you know, it being easier that way to do a memoir rather than an autobiography. So, what you were looking at is a time in your life that really changed you, um, and really, um, 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 impacted you, and it really had a lot of value, um, and it meant, um, a lot to you. Um, and what was, um... Um, a lesson or a theme learned from that, um, that experience. So, you know, painting it vividly. You know, think of how, um, well-written, um, 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 Jeanette Wells's, um, Glass Castle was, um, because she was painting it vividly. And, you know, of course you come to me and say, oh, you know, or you email me, or you Zoom with me, and you say, oh, um, um, Lopez Leon, I don't remember exactly what happened. But, you know, here's the thing. You will be allowed to make it up. As long as it's staying with the story, and as long as the reason why um, you're making it up is not just to make it up because you don't like it. No, I want you, you, know, you, know, you need to be true to what it is. But if you can't remember, but, you, you know, you want dialogue and you want there to be, you know, that flavor there, if you know what I'm talking about, that extra, um, you know, little boost of flavor, that you know, to put it metaphorically, you can make up dialogue similar um, um, as much as possible, going with um, playing into that experience. Um... And, uh, this can be difficult because you haven't lived, um, you know, it's like into your adult lives, like myself. And a lot of you will probably have a hard time coming up with something, but just something that sticks out to you, uh, as something, um, good or bad, um, but something very, um, I'm really potent, um, I'm really memorable, um, and, um, one of those powerful uh, experiences. So, I'm doing that thing where I talk again, and I hesitate. Now, memoir. So, um, think of, um, just make a list, first of all, of people that have um, impacted you in your lives that, um, I mean a lot to you, um, at least five things, um, um, at the very least. Um, um, so go through and, um, you know, maybe do that. You don't have to do it this way, but this is just an idea and an outline. And also, um, and also places, 
that stand out to you or that really stood out to you that, um, you know, that mean a lot to you um, um, in your life and are really special to you. So, uh, that's one idea. Or you can do something different. You can make a list of certain events, but you don't have to choose all of the events. You can make it as long as you want to. So, for me, it would be, um, um, it would be, uh, halfway between the year of 2014 and then, um, into 2015, ending off in the fall of 2015. So, um, a time period in your life is not necessarily your whole childhood. You don't have to do that. Okay, you know, I probably said something like that, but, um, but, you know, that's just going to be too much. You, you know, Jeanette Walls did that. We're not going to do that. Um, and you can see how her book really, really flowed so fast that I found it hard while reading it to really sit down and really get into something because it moved very, very quickly when I read it. I discovered, I discovered that when I read the book. And no one else hinted it out at me that it went by really fast. That was my own discovery. That was my own discovery. Alright, so it has to be about 500 words. Um, 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 when you, uh, um, 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 <laughs> um, 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 when you're writing it, okay? So, 500 words, reaching to that limit, and maybe going on that limit, but it has to ebb and flow. So, and it's not going to be perfect, um, so you don't expect it to be um, perfect. You know, you may have to, you know, rearrange things, as long as you're getting it out, uh, as long as you, um, uh, mean it, and, you know, I can go and tell you, um, that Jeanette Wells had, you know, had the same thing where she wanted to get it out, and then she changed it, um, because she didn't like it, you know, didn't like this detail at this, you know, at this particular place, or, um, you know, or whatnot. So, and it's really, really open-ended that way. So, and that's really all I can tell you for now. Now, the instructional videos get into the structure of how it actually is going. And there's kind of a rubric um, attached to that and everything like that that I made. Um, and all the, you know, materials found on there. But that's really all I can tell you. Um, there's really not a whole lot to it. You know, MLA format, Times New Roman, 12-point font, double-spaced. Um, and again, it's not an essay, but it's a paper, if you, um, if you will, um, uh, and it's a memoir. Okay, so always remember that not only including what happened, or, but also including your feelings and reflections from it, you know, and your take on it, and your take on the experience. And I would recommend starting at a certain place because it will be difficult for you to go chronologically. Don't try to go chronologically. Um, just start at a certain place and maybe it'll be like a flashback. So you start here and then you flashback. And you don't have to do it all in order. You make one pill graph, you put one you know, above it. However, it rolls along. Um, uh, if you get my draw skill. So, it's really all that I wanted to explain with that, okay? Now, Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be watching uh, this Ray Redbury doc 